everybody, and welcome to my first narrated LP. Hopefully this one will be more watchable for you all. So I'm doing a, an LP of Paper Mario, one of the best Mario games they ever made for anything ever. So, yeah. Classic controller, screw you. I'm going with the GameCube. The, one of the, another one of the best systems they ever made. Filled up with underrated games. You know, like Luigi's Mansion and stuff. You know, because that was a freaking awesome game. I might do an LP of that. Great game. Freaking hilarious when you call for Mario. It's all shaky and terrified. But anyway. Today. Oh, hurry up. Jeez. I'm going to tell you the story of Star Spirits and Good Wishes. Far, far away. Beyond the sky. Way above the clouds. It's said that there's a place, a haven where stars live. Wait a minute. They, so they don't live in the sky already? In the sanctuary of Star Haven. There rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Nice, I want one. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered star spirits watched over our peaceful world, or rather Mario's world, because we don't live there. Carefully, very carefully. It'd be really fun if I lived in Mario's world. That'd be freaking awesome. And then, what is that? Oh dear, what the? Tape. Bad tape. Who stuck that weird thing into the story? Yeah, ha, ha, ha! I did it, yeah! Oh, wait a minute, I messed that up. Wah, ha, 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 ha! So I can at long last beat my arch enemy, Mario. I'll take this star rod. You gotta love Bowser, he's freaking awesome. Do it, Kami Koopa! Man, Bowser's so cool. He's like the coolest of the cool. He's, he's cooler than Captain Falcon. And that's pretty freaking cool. No, you mustn't do that! Yeah, yeah, now let's try using it. Sorry, I'm kind of, like, not good with the voices. Stop it, cut it out, Bowser. You're changing the story. Ah, uh, we don't care. Here's a little story characters. You don't live in our world, so we don't care. <laughs> we did it. That was a piece of cake. <laughs> Bowser's laugh is, like, freaking epic. He's so cool. Now, star kids may rise to the haven to deliver to people's wishes, but those wishes will not come true. Really? We totally didn't know that. But whatever can they do? Nothing. That's what. Paper Mario. Hooray. Made by Nintendo and Intelligent Systems, because they're freaking awesome. So I'm going to go with the name, the only name that you guys know me by. Boo. Yay. Boo. Okay. First play of Boo. And we arrive. Our story begins in Mario's house. Or at Mario's house, I should say. You'd think it'd be shaped like a mushroom. You know, because Mario loves his drugs. Anyway, uh, the mailman. Mail call! And Luigi, the one that really should probably be a little bit more popular than Mario because he's actually better. You know, his fireball slug. Hey, Mario! We got the leather from Princess Peach! Sorry if my voice work is really bad. I'm not really good at switching my voice to fit other people. I'll read it to you, okay? Alright, let's see. And you're not reading it. You somehow summoned a giant cutscene in front of the in the house. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I'd be honored if you could both attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you there soon. Prin sincerely, Princess Peach. Or just Peach. I messed it up. Anyway. So, without even taking any time to decide, we immediately go there. Because we totally know that Peach isn't going to get kidnapped. Jeez. I mean, you'd think that, like, Peach and Bowser, like, gang up on Mario just to set him up to, like, risk his life time and time again. You know, because they're always, they're always in cahoots with each other. You know, it's like, hey, Bowser, maybe you can kidnap me again. And then Mario will have to do all this crazy crap. So, anyway. So we go to the really cool looking castle, sort of. What a magnificent castle! I never get used to this place. It looks like lots of the guests are already here. So now we can finally move. And it's our be it's the beginning of the actual gameplay of Paper Mario, the first one. It doesn't have a title. It, which kind of sucks because, you know, The Thousand Year Door, that's a pretty sweet title. The GameCube one, and I'm not seeing any tasty sweets. Okay, a lamb, a lamb shank is not candy. All I see is tea 
and oh, there we go. There's the sweets. Okay, table full of cake. There, I forgive you now, Peach. Looks like you're not off too far. Anyway, so we are going into the castle because this couldn't possibly be any more boring because we're just running through a castle looking for a peach. Nice couch. I wish I had one like that, although I do have one in my room, so that's pretty sick. So we're running down this hallway. Come on, jeez. You know, the intros to games like this are always so freaking horrible and slow. Oh, Mario, you came to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Okay, so wait a minute. You didn't expect us to come after you just wrote us a letter? Thank you. Ugh. Bad voice work. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Yeah, it's pretty tiring being the popular one. Everybody has to save. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? Yes, apparently. It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it'll be comfortable on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? It's like not, it's not like we can say no, but yeah. And the trees, earthquake. The trees fall over, like in a really pixelated fashion because everything is paper. And Bowser's castle is below Peach's castle. I mean, it's kind of funny. You know, ju just think about that for a second. Just think about that, just for a second, like, think about it logically. How the heck are you gonna get a castle below another one? I mean, I can understand if you have, like, dungeons in the castle, but you're not gonna fit another castle below another castle. I mean, unless you use the power of the Star Rod to, like, magically teleport it down there, but there's no way that it could be there. Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? What else could it be? I mean, and how many things shake the Earth? beneath you. Jeez. Oh my, look Mario, it's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. Boom. Bowser. Or Bowser. Get to the chopper. Anyway. Wahahaha. <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser. But this can't be. It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? Wahahaha. <laughs> Yeah, that was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky. It's sitting on my castle now. Weren't expecting... Wait. Weren't expecting that? That's not correct. It should be wasn't expecting that. Unless I'm mistaken. Ha! This castle's under my control now, dear. Or, my dear. Now you will obey me! Huh? What? It's Mario! What the shock! Ha! Not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you just give up already? True, true. I've had my problems in the past, but this time is different. But this time I'm gonna win! Okay, tough guy. Let's go! Wahaha, <laughs> and he's still laughing. I'm sorry, um, why would you laugh in a situation like that? Mario, you can do it. Is it really that funny? Is it so hilarious that someone's gonna come and attack you? Boom. One damage. We totally suck right now. And, astonishingly, so does Bowser. He hits for one. So, this is our first and worst battle ever. For two very important reasons. One, it's the most boring battle ever. Two, you cannot win. It is unwinnable unless you hack the game. Anyway, good old Mario, always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. So wait a minute, his pathetic little attacks would beat you normally? That's not exactly a good thing to, like, take advantage of. Take a look at this. Look what I stole from Star Haven. It's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Pod to increase my... Star Pod? <laughs> star Rod to increase my strength. Even you can't beat me, Mario. So, hang on a second. Just look pause for a second here. If the Star Rod can grant any wish in the game, I mean, not, not, yeah, <laughs> it can grant any wish in the game, why would you wish for more power instead of just, like, asking, like, wish Mario was dead or wish Peach loved you? <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? And kaboom, he hits for three now, which isn't good, and he's all rainbowy, starry, and gay-looking now. And we hit for nothing. <laughs> Is that all you've got? How sad. You'd best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. I don't really think vitamins are going to help you here. Ow. Three. It hurts. Anyway, it's unwinnable. So we do not win. And, yep, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anytime anymore with you, Mario. It's time to end this. 
However, I am approaching the video time limit of the stupid YouTube stupidness. So I'm going to have to cut this right here. I apologize, but tune in next time for when we figure out what Bowser has in store for us. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of this LP. Hopefully, if, like, any of you are watching this.